Hey y'all, it's Krista. Um, so I had a, a viewer and a new customer of Mix um, say that it reminded them of using the PBO pouring medium. So me being inquisitive, I had to find out. What I did find out is that even on sale, this is $34 and I used almost the whole bottle of it just to do a 20 by 20 canvas. So this is double the amount and it's only 25. And it's super, super thick where this is super, super thin. So the consistencies that I had to make um, to be able to do this, I had to add one part pouring medium to two parts paint which I'm saving nothing that way. I'm at, I, this painting is, at the end, is going to be so expensive that I'm gonna make no money on it. So um, I'm gonna see if the PBOs are in the same transparency, doing the same things as uh, Mix does. So we'll get us down to the canvas and we will get this cup layered and see what happens. All right. All right, so today I am I am using Amsterdam Titanium White and that's the only non-PBO that I'm using because I wanted to stay in the true, you know, use the product for the product. So I'm using iridescent copper and iridescent precious gold. And those are the metallic line. And then I have three of the Dyna lines. I've got the iridescent violet blue, the iridescent red blue, and the iridescent orange yellow. And then I have one from the opaque line and it is opaque cobalt blue hue. So, um, let me show you the consistency that I got. It's way thinner than I usually do it, and I use so much paint. I couldn't believe how much paint I used. So let's get this cup layered up. Um, I think I'm gonna start with this blue. And then I will put some gold on top of that. And then I'll lock it in with some white. I don't know if it needs to be locked in because I've never used this pouring medium, but it never hurts. And then I'll go into the orange yellow. And I will put the copper. And then I'll do the red blue. And what is this one again? Violet blue. I'm praying I have enough paint made, but I guess we'll see. Then I'll put the gold. And I'll lock that in with some white. And then I'll do the opaque color again, the cobalt blue. And I think I'm gonna put white in again. I think I'll empty my cup this time. Set that aside. And then I think I'll go into the copper. Bella's looking out the back door, being nosy and bossy all at the same time. Huh, Bella? And 
I'll scrape this cup out too. Bella, come see mommy. She's like, okay. I'll empty this one. Then I'll empty this one. And then I basically don't have anything left. I got a little bit, I mean a little bit left in here in those ones. Okay. So I've got some more white mixed up. And I'm going to put that down for my puddle. And that one's a little thicker. I put too much paint in it, I think. But that's okay. We're going to pour this thin stuff on top of it and it'll all work out. Okay, so I've got my cup all layered up with all these nice springy colors, and let's see what we get. All right, let's go. Well, let me tell you something. It did not give me a straight pour. Kind of all just went into a weird cloud. All right, I gotta wreck this because I don't know what this is in the middle here. And I'm gonna pull it through this way. And I'll pull it this way. And I'll go that way. All right. Let's see what happens here. So far, I am <laughs> obviously not impressed. Super thin. Didn't give me the fine lines. And you all know I do my straight pours all exactly the same. So this is not a me error. This is a, this, this pouring medium is just crazy. All right, let's tilt this around. I'm gonna take it off this corner first. I'm gonna bring it back. Take it off this corner. Bring it back. You know, I always, I, when someone says, hey, you know, you gotta check this out, I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to use something other than mix, but prove to me that it's better. Because right now I am seeing that mix is way better. All right, I'm gonna get my corners here. And 
and not only that, it's more cost effective. Spin it around here. I feel like I wasted money and I hate wasting money. Okay, I, I mean, it gave me transparency, but that's pretty much all that it did. Um, let me take my gloves off here and we'll get you down to the canvas so you can see what I'm looking at. All right, let me come get you. Okay. So the transparency is definitely there. I mean, right here, it's, it's beautiful, right? If this is the look you're going for and you don't want those crisp lines and you don't want cells, <laughs> obviously, um, then this pouring medium is okay. Um, I'd be afraid to use it in a swipe. Um, I mean, these lines are okay, but I only got them at the end. I didn't get them anywhere else. And we'll come up here. So yes, transparency wise, it's very similar, but quality wise, way different. And look, see, I'm getting all these little white things popping up. This is definitely a canvas I will most likely pour over. So there it is, y'all. Comparison of mix versus PBOs. All right. If you were the person that told me about the two and told me to test it, leave me a comment. And if you liked this test, hit that subscribe button. All right, y'all. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you soon. Bye.